Hey guys, today we're going to be spending my 337,000 coins. To those of you that voted, I thank you. And to those of you watching it a bit late, I did release a video earlier today asking people to vote on what to spend my coins on. And actually what came first in the voting was to fully max Dreadlord and Arcanist. Now I was thinking like, I don't know why I put it as an option really, because I was thinking this is 8899. Look, look all these really do. They give me like 0.75 of a second, a little bit of extra chance. They make like no difference and I'll use up all of my coins because like hero classes, the final upgrades are really expensive. And the same with Arcanist, wherever it is, there we go. That like, that's the only one I really want. So it depends how many coins I have left over, I guess. But what came in second place and what I'm going to be doing is fully maxing Hunter ready for when I prestige it. So here we go, guys. I'm going to be spending all my beautiful coins. Goodbye. Here we go. Fully maxing Hunter. Do... Oh, this feels good. It's been a while since I've done a class like this because they're all too high a level. Wow, we still have 110,000 coins left over. Right. So I knew I'd have a few left over if I did fully max Hunter. And while I could, like, save them up for the prestige grind, I really don't want to because, you know, the original purpose that I bought the booster for was for Squid and Pirate. So you guys are going to get Squid and Pirate gameplays. Let me buy the Ender Chest for Squid and let me just max the kit at least. And then do the same for pirate, and then we should have um, a few coins left over to upgrade the rest. Here we go. Um, pirate. Doop, 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 doop. No, I don't have enough to upgrade it. But I do have enough um, arcade coins to convert so that I can get enough to continue upgrading pirate and get the kit maxed. I mean, I don't really like pirate as a class, and I don't really like squid as a class. But at least I can do gameplays with them now, and I can say I have them maxed. I'll just level all this up a bit more um gathering talent doesn't really appeal to me that appeals to me so there we go that's what we got so far i guess and i'll just upgrade a few more on pirate it's a hero class so it's more expensive so i'll just do those for now but yeah thank you guys for watching and also i do want to explain a little thing here right so in the comments of my last video some pe like the one that i made on this if you're watching this late um, basically some people were confused as to why I had such a high amount of coins and so many high level classes and prestiges and stuff when I don't even have over like over like a thousand wins because you'd expect someone to have this high stats have like 1000 wins well basically the answer to that is back in the old mega walls I when I first joined I was really bad at PvP and I didn't like staying in long games and I found out that because I was so bad and didn't try very hard and stuff I used to just get wrecked in the deathmatch so I figured I wouldn't stay for the deathmatch so I used to get 15 out of 15 kills because it was 15 back then and they used to give you a lot more coins than they do now with Dreadlord and then just leave and I'll put this on the screen now but you'll see on Plank NL if you look at my Dreadlord kills and deaths they're significantly higher than all of my others particularly in my deaths because of how bad I was but literally all I used to do is not bother about food just mine a ton of iron with the iron gathering skill thingy and just make tons of sets of armor and get myself killed loads of times and just get 15 out of 15 and do that over and over and over so I got like my final kill to kill ratio is shocking but I stopped I started playing normally when I got to about 15,000 kills so about half of my kills are from like long windy games and that's if you put about 15,000 kills to about 400 wins that's probably about right I mean it's probably like really really high but that's because I'm a solo player and I never play in parties but I just figured I'd explain that so you guys don't think oh my god he's a massive pay to win because like I did I've bought one Mega Walls booster in the past and I bought one recently as you know that I activated with Sky Wars and Arcade only one so like I've had two in my entire time so I don't want you guys to think, oh, it's just one massive pay-to-win guy who has no skill or anything. I mean, you can have whatever opinions that you want. They're your opinions. I don't care. But, um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm not, like, fake or anything. And I, I do just play this game for fun. It just happens that I happen to be good at it and that you guys really enjoy watching me play, which means a lot to me because, like... This game is really enjoyable for me, and a lot of the targeting and stuff really kind of ruined it for me. After I got my prestiges was when I started getting targeting, that was before my YouTube channel, and also because I was staff. And like, the YouTube channel and your guys and your support and hearing how much you love my gameplays and stuff really made a lot of it a lot better for me, and I really, really thank you for it. And I am very, very grateful for all of your support, and honestly, you guys are amazing. And 
I thank you all so much and I love you all. So we're on the road to 5,000 subs right now and I honestly cannot wait. I've got some big things planned for when I hit 5,000 subs. So yes, um, I'll do a fully Max Hunter gameplay and some Squid and Pirate gameplay soon as well. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.